Hey y'all, it's me, Carissa, and this is my channel, K Threads and Stitches. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. If this is your first time, welcome. This is a channel where I talk about cross stitch and any other crafting things that I like to do. Um, been a couple months longer than I had anticipated coming back, but excited to be here and show you what I got um, for today. Don't really have a whole lot of life updates. I've just been working and um, doing personal life things. Had a birthday a couple weekends ago. Um, that's probably the most exciting thing that has gone on since the last time that I was here. Um, went to San Antonio for the weekend and had some fun and that was really nice. So um, I'll go ahead and jump in. I've got a few finishes for you guys. I've got a start or I got a, several starts actually. Um, and just a little bit of haul. Um, so I'll start off with um, some of the finishes that I got. Alright, so um, back in probably late January, early February, I had started on the Brenda Gervais Love Notes pattern. Uh, I don't know if I have the in here. Um, oh, yes. Okay. This is this is the pattern, um, and I did three of the pillows out of the five that are on here. I had hoped to get all of them done, but I didn't get quite that far. Um, but I did start another one. So my first one that I did, I don't know all the names of these, but all all of three of these are within that um, within that pattern. All right, so this is the first one that I did. I stitched this on 32 count um, vintage country mocha on linen. I have this upside down. <laughs> I've shown it to you upside down. I'm sorry. Um, and it's just X's and O's. I can't remember if I used the call for colors. Oh no, I didn't. I changed my colors because um, I think it called for DMC maybe and I used something different so I've got this mixed in with um, another pattern so I don't know what flosses are which I think that I used for the red Louisiana hot sauce by Weeks Dye Works and then the white is just snowball by classic color works um, so that was the first one and then I did this one and these are all really fast to stitch um, I probably I think I stitched a couple of these in a day like the X's and O1 O1 and this one here so this one's just hearts and it's got the little red heart there and then the last one I did was the Be Mine pillow um, I really love this one this one was fast. The back stitching on this probably took me the longest, honestly. And then on the back of all three of these, I just did um, white fabric with red hearts. So. Okay. And then, so the next one I got, I shared this one on Instagram um, several weeks ago. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen it. Actually, for all three of these that I'm about to show you, um, I didn't even bring the pattern out here uh, for this one. But I believe this is that one. One of these days I'm going to come in and do a video where I'm already organized. Today is not that day, though. see it on here that's weird I think that's what it is okay so this one is by Country Cottage Needleworks um, and I believe the pattern name is Sunflowers in Summer if you watch or if you have watched or if you go back and watch um, a couple of my previous videos I talk about this before it was finished so I've got all the details for this in there um, this is what it looks like 
So I know that I had discussed last time that I got this frame from Hobby Lobby. I've had this frame for a while. I bought it last year um, and I had planned to finish this um, this piece on this, you know, this here. <laughs> um, so I stitched this on 28 count Lugana uh, brown paper by XU Design. And then I used the fat quarter. So I get, um, I buy a lot of fat quarter bundles from Primrose Cottage Stitches. And both of these came from one of the fat quarter bundles that I had purchased from them. Um, and then put a little burlap bow and then a white sunflower up at the top. I believe I used, um, I think I used most of the called for colors on this. A um, little bit of weak style works, um, classic color works. And I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. So that was my next one. And then I was really excited to finish this one. So I've been really close to finishing this for like probably since around July or August last year. I just hadn't um, really spent the time to finish it. I was literally on the last piece of it. I don't even think I can get this whole thing in the frame. Okay. Um, so this is Hive Rules by Primrose Cottage Stitches. I stitched with all of the called for colors and I used a, um, a fabric. It was 32 count uh, Lugana and the color, uh, the name of it is Clouds and Shadows by XJU Design. And I got the finishing piece from Hobby Lobby. I've heard that they have um, a black one as well. So I used a couple of burlap bows. I got the B from Hobby Lobby. It comes in a set of six. Um, and then for the background fabrics, again, I used um, uh, fabrics that I had gotten from Fat Quarter Bundles from Primrose Cottage Stitches. But this is the finished piece. And I love the um, color of the fabric. It kind of gives it a little bit of uh, extra hump to it. And when I had started to finish this, it wasn't until after I had gotten the stitched piece down um, that I realized that I forgot to finish stitching the two B's right here and the, um, and the heart. I completely forgot to finish that. And then I, then I realized that I hadn't put the X's down here as well, so I had to go back. I pulled this off, uh, fixed it, and then put it back on there. Luckily, I was able to get it off without completely ruining the fabric and the whole piece. Um, so, I used tape um, to secure my um, pieces and my fabric to the sticky board, the back of the sticky board. So it makes it a little easier to pull that off, but I do use hot glue to glue them all together once they're taped down to the sticky board. All right, and then the last piece that I have is, um, this is called ABC by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, this was super fast to stitch. Uh, I got the finishing piece, I think either last year or the year before from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I believe it said home on it. And I, again, I used the 32, or is it 28, or is it, no, it's 32, 32 count Lugana Shadows, Clouds and Shadows by X2 Design. And then again, with the um, fabric, I used fabrics that were in fat quarter bundles from Primrose Cottage Stitches. A couple of bows up here. I get these, most of my ribbons, I will get them from Hobby Lobby. Um, both of these came in like a, it was like a stack in a, in a little plastic thing that has a whole bunch of different ones for these thinner ones. And then I put a little B up here at the top and used all of the call for colors for this. But um, I really do love this piece. So now I have like a whole, a whole B display um, and I probably will keep it up all year round till it gets to about Halloween and then swap it out then. Um, I know it's not summer yet, but I've already, <laughs> I've already got all of my summer stuff out, like my couple of strawberry pieces, my bee pieces, and then just my regular like, excuse me, my regular home pieces. So that's all I have for finishes, like fully finishes. 
Um, I do have one that is a finish I had hoped to kind of get started and um, do some Easter pieces. I don't really have too, too many spring pieces, but I did get one done. Um, I don't know if I have something that I can, I'll just go like this. Um, this is from a booklet. This is a booklet from Brenda Gervais. So this is Jelly Bean Jubilee. Um, and I got one of the pillows done and I had started another one. So this is what this looks like. I really love these. These are so pretty. And I am using a uh, 28 count uh, brown paper by XJU Design for this. I actually um, did not use the call for colors, but I did try to keep them as similar as possible. Um, this is my first finished piece. I don't remember the name of this one. What is this one called? Um, this one is tiptoeing through the tulips. Um, I really love the little chick. It's cute with the little bow on it. Um, so that is the finish for that one. I'd hope to get a couple more of these done and then go ahead and finish them into pillows before I made this video, but I just didn't get around to it. So I used a lot of um, Victoria Motto colors. I had purchased a while back uh, a lot of uh, floss bundles, I guess, that are on their, um, on their Etsy site, and I really like to start using them because they come with a lot of floss. I mean, they're really beautiful colors, so this is one of the Victoria Motto um, floss skeins. So, um, what I have used, I've used a few classic color works as well, but I've got Squeeze Me Orange for one of the orange colors, um, Granny Boots for a brown, Yellow Bonnet, 17th century Amazon is the green. Um, Chameleon Sun for this one here. This is another like yellowy orange. Darkest Moss, so for like a dark brown. Rose of Sharon, this is a really pretty pink. Um, Sweet Lavender and Flower Basket. And these are, I don't know that I can really get all these to kind of show all at once. There's a whole bunch of them here. But I really love these colors. I tried to keep them as similar as possible, but also pick things that kind of went together. And then I also have Snowball, of course, for the white. Uh, Queen Bee by Classic Colorworks and Really Tealy. So this is the blue that I use for the um, bow on the little chick's neck. Um, and then I had barely started another one. Got my needle in here. I don't have a whole lot of progress on this. So this one is the next one in the booklet. Um, and the name of it is Easter Parade. So it's got two little chicks carrying a, like a wagon with some flour or some carrots in it. So, and that's my start for that one. I'd kind of hope to get a couple more of these done. These are these are pretty quick to stitch. They don't take very long. Like I think I got this one done in a couple days, um, and I could probably finish that one in a couple of days if I. <laughs> I get distracted by so many things, so I start starting other things. Um, and this is what that what that one will look like. Ooh, got a little bit of a glare. That's that one. And then, so I had started, I didn't get a very big start on this. So this is from Stitching with the Housewives. I don't even remember which one this is. I'd have to go through my iPad and look. Um, but this is one of their Valentine pieces that they came out with this year um, for the, like the little towns that they've been doing. I bought the piece, uh, the long board piece that they originally started out with doing these um, and I, I just 
started this. I was kind of hoping to get a little further, but um, this is all I got <laughs> for this. So maybe next year I'll have it ready for that. And then for the Brenda Gervais Love Notes, I had also started, this is a very, very small start. I literally just got the flowers and a leaf here um, on this. So that's all I got for that. And I can show you, did I keep that up? Yeah. Whoop. Dropped my pillow here. Um, I was, so this one here is the one that um, that one goes to. So maybe I'll have enough time to get that one done and the other one next year. I can go ahead and throw this in here. All right. I mean, I think around Christmas time, um, I did a little bit more on the Stitching with the Housewives Jingle Bell Cafe. I didn't finish it. Um, I can't remember if I talked about it in my last video, but I had actually made a pretty significant mistake in this originally when I had starting, started stitching it and I had to rip it all out um, like halfway through the word over here, or not halfway, but towards the end of the word over here and then redo a lot of that. So. Um, I did fix that and then this is how far I got with it um, during the holiday season but I have not worked on it since and I'm using all the called for colors for this one um, oh, and this is what it looks like sorry for the glare and my shaky hand <laughs> um, And then also during Christmas time, I had started Lizzie Kate's um, Christmas Rules. I uh, stitched this on, I believe this is Mushroom Lugana. This is 28, 28 count Mushroom Lugana. Um, and I'm not using the called for, all of the called for, bleh, excuse me, colors. Um, and this is how far I got with with this. I believe I chose a lot of um, variegated glosses and I really couldn't tell you which are which but I can kind of show you what I got here. Picked out a whole bunch so by the time I get to this again probably at the end of the year or whenever I choose to pick this up I'm probably gonna forget what the original plan was to stitch this out but that's okay um, I've just got a whole mixture of stuff here got a ton of colors um, I won't go through all of these I'll do my best to list these down below so if you're curious about any of the colors that I use if if I have it um, I will list it down below but these are all of my classic color works piece um, colors and then the week's dye works um, and then I used one Gentle Arts. Um, but I'm really excited about this one. I also started earlier last year the Halloween rules, but I haven't made any progress on that just yet. So. That is that one. And I really like the red on this. I think the red is just with the variegation that's in it. I really like it. Those are, so each one of those comes with, I think, two patterns in each of the booklets from Lizzie Kate. Um, there are several. And they don't take too, too long to stitch up. So they're pretty, pretty quick for each one. All right, and the next one that I have um, this is Santa Stops Here by Brenda Gervais. Um, I think a lot of people were stitching this. I had ordered a kit from, I think I mentioned it in my last video, May, maybe. Um, I don't remember. 
Um, but the kit came with all the called for colors and the fabric, so um, don't have any changes to that. I don't even know what the name of this fabric is, so I do apologize. But this is the progress that I made on this. So I got the whole border done, everything came together like it was supposed to, um, and then started the roof on the house and some of the some of the snowflakes over here. I really love this piece. This is, this has been fun to stitch. Um, I like to put the border in first. I know a lot of people don't like to do that, but I do like to put the border in first so that I have something to base off of. Uh, for when I'm going along, I tend to make a lot of mistakes as I'm stitching. So um, having something to look at when I'm when I'm stitching to make sure that I'm on the right track helps out. All right, so for the next one that I got, this is, I had started this back in January and I didn't get very far with it. Um, this is the January Wordplay by J Brenda Gervais. I can't talk today. Um, with these, I try my best to use all the called for colors. Um, but if, if I have to sub something out, I will, just because there are so many colors in each of these patterns, and it's very expensive to get all of the called for colors if you try to do that with all 12 of these. But this is the progress that I made, stitching these on 28 count um, Mushroom Lugana. And that's how far I got. I didn't make any progress on the I think it's either June or July one that I probably showed in my my last video. Um, it's just been sitting there. All right. So this next one, I believe this is another Brenda Gervais. Everything is Brenda Gervais, I guess. Um, this is Good Deeds by Brenda Gervais. I really love this pattern. Um, Surprisingly, the uh, border piece stitched up really quickly, so I've already got all of the border done. I just need to do the flowers and then um, the lady in the middle. And I'm stitching this on, I think I wrote it down in this here. Um, kind of reminds me of a Blue's Clues notebook, whatever it is. Okay, so I used 28 count cashew linen old mushroom by X2 Design for this one, um, and the colors that I used. Here, let me show you the piece. This is the progress that I made for this. Um, the colors that I used are Palomino, Oscar, uh, Onion Skin, Wagon Wheel, Perfect Pie Crust, Snowball, and Yield Gold. Um, pumpkin patch, wood rose brandy, and cinnamon swirl. So I switched out a lot of colors. It looks like um, I wrote on here specifically what I what I replaced certain ones with. I don't think I had all of the called for colors. And then I also went ahead and ordered the. Um, there was a couple of flosses that were different for. Um, so these are it here. I think these are Valdini, um, but they're the orange and the red. So I believe these were used, some of this is used for the flowers and then um, part of it was for, I think even these over here, like the little, the little bulbs in the, in the border. But I really love this piece. I think it's really pretty. So I made some pretty good progress on this. I had sat down for um, several days and just put a whole lot of work into it and then I got distracted once again by other things per usual. And then this was a previous start. I think I talked about this one in my last video. Um, I made a little bit of progress on this. I had started stitching on this because I wanted to get this done for this year. Um, this is Little House Needleworks Brave Hearts, and this is what this 
looks like. Um, the model in the picture is stitched with Belle Swab, but the back also gives you the um, classic Colorworks cotton conversion. So I chose to do this with the Belle Swab. Um, the Belle Swab is pretty expensive, but it is, um, a, it is really nice to stitch with. So this is the progress that I've made. I think that the last time I had some of the roof done and now I have um, a lot of the house filled in and some of the grass and then I finished the roof. But I really love the variegation in the um, Belsois um, floss. And I'm stitching this on, so this is kind of like a, a greenish fabric. This is um, 28 count Jobleen in the color of Water Lily by Witchell. So this looks a little lighter on camera than it does in person, um, but it is a greenish looking uh, fabric. So down to my last couple of starts. So after I finished with the, oh, what is this? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, after I finished the um, two Primrose Cottage Stitches pieces for High Rules and ABC, I was really excited when I saw this coming out for market this year. Um, this is I Would Rather Be Stitching by Primrose Cottage Stitches. This is so cute. Um, and I did the same fabric, so the 32 count Lugana in the color Clouds and Shadows by XG Design. And this is how far I got. And again, just using all of the called for colors. And then the next one that I did, so I can't remember the name of this. This is by, I think it's Strawberry Lane or something by, um, why am I blanking on the name? Cherry Hill Stitchery. Um, and all I got done was the house up here at the top and I'm using 32 count linen um, in the color Vintage Country Mocha. And I'm doing my best to use the called for colors on this. Um, I have one of the one of the um, strawberry pieces that I finished, I think, last year, um, and I just wanted to be able to start that one and hopefully get it finished for this year so that I can have them both together. And another start that I had. I think this is the last start. Uh, yeah. So I'm using all the called four colors um, for this and this is stitched on 32 count Milk and Honey by Fiber on a Whim. Um, this is the Heart and Hand A Honey of a Tiny Town. I haven't finished any of these tiny towns yet. I'm still even deciding whether or not I want to try to do this in the drum um, or just do a flat finish if I have to guess though. When it comes down to it, I may just do the flat finish because I have some um, thin, long cutting boards that I think this would work really well on as long as it's not too short for it. But this is the progress that I've made. I showed this on Instagram the other night. Really love this piece. It stitches up really quickly. Um, I'm using all of the called four colors on this. All right. Uh -oh. um, and I also got the A Honey of a Frill by Heart and Hand. I haven't started this, but I plan to start this next so that it can go with the rest of my V display. And I'll end up stitching it on the um, same fabric as this one. All of my all of my B pieces in my B display are the background fabrics. A lot of times are different colors, but I, I really don't mind it. I like to stitch on um, whatever fabric that I'm feeling in the moment for certain ones. 
So I've ordered the um, the North Pole um, pattern from Primrose Cottage Stitches and they announced that they are doing a stitch along. So I've never done a stitch along before or like tried to do a stitch along um, and I'm thinking that I'm going to try this one. I have a few of the colors already. I had actually previously purchased the um, light taupe fabric that I think is the called for fabric so I decided that I'll stitch it on that and then I actually just went and ordered the rest of the colors a couple days ago and it is in the mail and on the way to me and I ordered the pattern as well so hopefully I'll have all of that so that when they start that stitch along um, I will join in and see how that goes. Like I said, I've never done a stitch along. I tend to just kind of stitch whatever at this point. When I first started stitching, I was pretty monogamous with each piece. I like to do only a few things at a time and then um, mid, mid last year, I don't know, things just got out of hand. Oops, I forgot to put that back in there. Um, but that is all of the cross stitch pieces that I have for now. Um, I do have some haul for things. So I pre I signed up for, and I don't have everything here. I've already put up all the floss. So I've signed up for all three um, floss clubs that Fat Quarter Shop has. So I do the um, fancy, the Weak Style Works, the Classic Color Works, and I have the, um, what is it? The, um, I can't think of it. If you know it, throw it in the comments down below. I'll, I'll try to remember to list it um, in the description. But all three floss clubs that she has, um, I have signed up for those. And then I also signed up for the Fabric of the Month Club, I think, for um, linen. So over the last three months, I got the um, Chalkboard Black Witchel in 28 count linen. I think I, I'll definitely end up using this. This is really pretty. Um, this is called Touch of Pink. It's a really pretty pink color. It's not too dark. It's not too light. Um, probably good for a nice Valentine's Day piece. And then this one is Oyster by Witchell. I really love this. I think this is gonna, this could probably go with most anything. Okay. And then um, I ordered from Hollis Hands Creates um, several weeks ago. Uh, I ordered, what is this? Um, this is 32 Count Mayflower by Fox and Rabbit. I had some of this previously. It's really pretty. I love the, the speckling that is on this. Um, so it's on both sides, kind of. This is a really nice, um, just light colored fabric. I think this would probably be good for a nice Halloween piece. Um, and then this one is 32 Count Duxbury by Fox and Rabbit. Very pretty. This one's a little bit darker than the other one. Um, I don't know if you can really see kind of all the coloring in here. Very pretty. And then the last one that I got was 32 Count Cream de Mint by Needle Bling. This is a really pretty, like, ooh, tilly green. I really like this. I'm not sure what I'll end up using this for, but I really liked it, and I think that eventually. Um, I'll end up using this for something. I think this would be really pretty for probably like a something with a one color stitch um, or something like that. And then I ordered a few patterns. I don't have many that I've ordered, but um, when market releases came out, of course, I grabbed a few. Um, so I did get the 2023 Santa from the Prairie Schooler. I love this one, it's so cute. Um, and I got Everyday Things by Heart and Hand. I just keep dropping these. All right. 
Um, I also got the um, Fresh Lemonade by Primrose Cottage Stitches. This one's super cute. This is Christmas Quilt by Primrose Cottage Stitches. I love this. I think you could even do this with um, any two colors, honestly. You could probably make this like a seasonal thing or a monthly thing where you just swap out colors and have something to for every month or every season. Um, this is, so this isn't a market release from this year, but I decided to go ahead and get it. This is Heart and Hand Doodles Halloween. I think I wanted this last year um, towards the end of the year and I either I couldn't find it or I just forgot to order it. But I love that one. That one's super cute. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is Plum Street Samplers Starbarks. I have a few of these um, already. I, I love going to Starbucks so. Um, Lady and I went this morning um, and she always gets a pup cup. She gets super excited about these pup cups. Um, then I've got Silver Creek Samplers Planting Daisies. I love this one. It's so pretty. Sorry for the glare. I can't see it that well. All right, and then I got Little House Needleworks Bumblebee Petites. I don't know that this one actually came out, or maybe it did. I'm not sure if this is a Nashville release or not, but I, I like these. I thought they were very cute. So that is that one. And then, I think these came out last year. This is um, Patriotic Welcome Pillows by Manny D. Donna. And the last one that I got is Let's Go Sledding. This is by Annie B's Folk Art. So I've never stitched on perforated paper, but I think that's what it's called. Isn't that what that is? Oh yeah, perforated paper. So I've never stitched on perforated paper, but um, these are so small. I, I think it would be, it, it looks like it would be Pretty simple to do so I might try that at some point if not then I'll just stitch these on um, just regular fabric and then figure out what I'm going to do with it from there and then the last few things so I did also sign up for a fat quarter club from fat quarter shop um, I think this is the I don't want to tell you wrong oh yeah this is the Moda fat quarter club Fat Quarter Club. Um, so for January, um, this is the one that I got for January. I haven't taken these out of the packages. I won't do that until I actually feel like I need to use one of these or if I get to the point where um, I'll end up using the whole thing. So on the back it also has a sheet that tells you what all the different fabrics are that are in it. And then for Um, February. This was the one from February. A lot of these I, I feel like I could use a lot of them for cross stitch finishes or anything else that I um, might come up with. If I ever tried to make more project bags one day I could probably use it for that as well. Um, this is March. I love this one. This one is super cute. And then it's got all of the fabrics on the back. And then this was April's. This is the one I just got in the mail the other day. It's very pretty. All right. And then that's the back. And the last thing that I have to show, so I know in my last video, if you watched that one, I had discussed um, trying to quilt. And one of the quilt patterns that I had purchased was from Primrose Cottage, Primrose Cottage Stitches. I'm trying to say that fast. Um, 
I think it's called tree farm or something like that. So I have, I want to do this in an actual like small, very small quilt um, instead of just a table runner. I was able to find all the fabrics that they originally use except for the background fabric. I just used a plain white background fabric for this. Um, but I did get the first initial piece done. I don't know if you can see this. So it's not the greatest, but um, I did it. <laughs> I got the first piece of it. Um, I've got the second row almost like with all the trees done and then I'll just need to put the border pieces on it and then sew it to this piece here. And I think I plan to do either four or five rows. So I've gotten a lot of stuff cut out. Um, I had to buy more fabric because I just didn't have enough um, from the, like the first order that I did with everything. And then I realized that I didn't have enough of the border fabric to do the background with, so I had to buy a completely different background fat or like backing fabric for the back of it. So once I get that together, I'll probably try to find some place to send it off to to have it quilted, and then hopefully it'll be done by the end of the year. So this one's actually pretty easy um, for. Well, I shouldn't say easy. Um, it is easy. But I, I struggle with lining up all of the points and the getting the lines to match the way that they're supposed to. Even when I'm going slow, I think I need to learn better pinning methods. And so my camera's about to die. Sorry, I, I got cut off in the middle. Um, again, thank you for coming back. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Not sure when my next video will be, but... I'll let you know as soon as I post on my Instagram. So if you have, if you don't follow me, follow me on Instagram at k.threadsandstitches. Um, and then I just have my YouTube channel outside of that. But all right. Thanks for coming back. Bye.